Hello, uh, this is Shankar and uh, in my series of talking to you about various houses and talking about Vedic astrology, today I'm going to discuss about uh, one of the very important things which people come to me is the houses which are dealing with foreign. How can you go abroad? How can you settle abroad? What are the houses by which one can see that one has to, one can go abroad? Here again, uh, the important is houses. They give the tendency, they give the promise. But finally, the promise would be fulfilled is when the play of the houses would come in Dasha, Antar and Bhukti and the degrees of the planet, which degrees of planet are connected to the Nakshatra, to the Sublord. And it's an integrated approach of the degree of the planets, the division chart and the Dasha, Antar and the Bhukti that one can conclude on whether the event will happen or not. Now coming to foreign country, settlement abroad. Generally, the most important house, that is yourself, is the first house. The first house, the further it goes away, that is the last house next to the negation of the first house is the 12th house. The 12th house is the house which deals with foreign lands or foreign countries. So when your ascendant, that is the lagna, that is the first house in the chart which tells you about your lagna, the self, if that is placed in the 12th house and gets connected to the 12th house, there is a chance of you to go abroad or to settle abroad. Lord of first going in the 12th house is gives a fairly good chance of a person going abroad. Now let us understand that from first to seven till the seventh house that is the first half those are the planets those are houses which do not govern anything of going abroad. The planet the house which governs for you to go abroad is the 12th house. The second most important house which talks about a long journey because if you go abroad then you have to have a long journey that is the ninth house. The ninth house is the house which talks about a long journey. So there has to be a relationship between first house, twelfth house and the ninth house. When there is a relationship in the first, twelfth and the ninth house and it is placed in the twelfth house, then there are chances of you to go abroad and to settle abroad. I.e. what I want to tell you is first, ninth and twelfth are important for foreign settlement. The other two important houses which you should see for foreign journeys is the for journeys, not for foreign journeys, but for journeys is the third house. The third house signifies short journeys. But since it is on this side of your horoscope, that is after the first, the third comes after that, it is a short journey and the journey within your country. Similarly, the seventh house also talks about a journey, but that journey will be connected to business. And Another important house which people actually uh, forget a lot, large number of times is 8th house. In my own study, I have seen that 8th house during uh, earlier days was set to going beyond the seven seas. It also depicted today's foreign travel. It was known as Sat Samudar Par or going beyond the seven seas or something like a Kalapani. So 8th house was an house which in the yesterdays was not important it was it was a negative house and nobody wanted to go abroad going outside your house leaving your house was not considered good but today it's a thing which we look forward so eighth house is equally important so therefore when i study uh, things to go abroad is that the first house should get related to the eighth ninth and the twelfth first eighth ninth and twelfth are houses which talk about you going abroad Settling abroad, you have to look at other things also, but first 8, 9, 12 are houses which actually govern you going to a foreign country and 12th house is the more important house. Third house is for short journeys and opposite to that is 9th house which is long journey. So they should get connected. So when you're going abroad, the important houses become 9th, 12th, 1st, 8th for journeys within the country. It is 3rd and 9th and that is how you have to see to repeat. 12th house is the house for foreign country, 12th and 9th with first a relationship and the combination falling in 12th could show you going to a foreign country and settling there, 3rd is for short journey, 8th is a catalyst house which if it gets related it also shows travelling abroad, foreign overseas travel, going Sasamudar Park, going to a Kalapani. So these are important houses which we have to see while looking at a horoscope and then coming to a conclusion of whether a native has the potential, the promise to go and settle in a foreign country or have a foreign journey. Again, 
I repeat that the promise has to be substantiated by the Dasha Antar Bhukti and the degrees of the planet are extremely important in the whole thing. With this, I would uh, like to uh, end up uh, my talk on uh, settlement abroad and foreign travel. Um, I would uh, say goodbye to you and for any other uh, for for uh, uh, for uh, any other query you have you can visit my site or you can look at the other uh, uh, other youtube channels go to my uh, facebook and also uh, get in touch with me on my email id if uh, if required bye for now